Are you guys ready for 1800 horsepower? What if I told you that this is a fishing machine? Almost 70 miles an hour. We are on board of a brand spanking new Aquila 47 Molokai and we're taking this baby out. Welcome aboard. We are currently slowly cruising out to take her for a real spin. Let's go introduce you to Elaine if you don't know him already. Hey. What is your official title again? <laughs> again, uh, Aquila Brand Manager. <laughs> there you go, Aquila Brand Manager. Elaine is all things Aquila. He knows everything about every Aquila. One of the most knowledgeable people in the business that we love spending time with. So thanks Likewise. for having us on board before she officially debuts yes. at Flips next weekend. Correct, yeah. First ones. That's and, right. And anybody who knows a little bit about the brand knows it's a multi hull And if you were wondering what do you mean center console 47 feet, this is a 47 foot center console. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I'm excited about it because it's like, wow, this is this is impressive. I mean, the, what's the beam on this thing? So the beam on her is 14 foot 7 inches. Wow. So, which is identical to our 36 sport, but she feels obviously a lot beamier than that when you step on board. So. Length overall is 49 feet. That's from tip of bow to the end of the engines when the motors are in down position. But we have her marketed as an Aquila 47 Molokai. Got it, yeah. So it's a real deal fishing machine, huh? Absolutely. First and foremost was getting the design aspects of her from a fishability standpoint. So the manufacturer worked exclusively with a fishing professional out of Gulf of Mexico, Panhandle area. And so the fishability aspects, whether it's a hooker sea chest, Gemlux outriggers, the electric reel outlets, the positioning of the rocket launcher on the back, the rear facing MFD, everything from a fishability standpoint has been very well thought out. He's lost me so well, many okay. times. <laughs> Once we go through the boat, we got to point these things yeah, out. Yeah, absolutely. But I mean, I've heard of these before, so yeah. it all <laughs> sounded pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, so nothing's been spared in <laughs> setting this boat up for fishing. So the only thing I didn't see were tuna tubes. Correct, not on this version, but there is an option for the tuna tubes. Well, somehow I kind of knew what, you were going to say that. Are you trying to just show off that you've got some fishing knowledge? Just a little. I mean, we're really not fishing people, but you guys have been asking us to show you some real cool fishing boats, something that's unique and you don't see every day. So this is definitely an opportunity. When Elaine reached out and said, this is coming, we were like, yes, we want to show you guys this one because I think it's exactly what you all have been asking yeah. us for. Something different. Yeah, the, and it's different for Aquila too. This is our first- Completely double, different. Yeah, our first double-stepped hull. So they invested a lot in, in CFD and FEI, multiple revisions of that, really getting the hull shape designed for efficiency and speed. So- What's we, the double step hull mean for people that don't know? What so it? basically when a boat with a double stepped hull or a single stepped hull, the theory is that when you jump up on plane, you have less wetted surface area. So you actually increase your range and efficiency and your speed ultimately. So what's the range on this boat? So it depends on your engine package. The primary engine package that most of our clients seem to be gravitating towards is a quad 400 V10s. So your range on that's going to be at cruise speed, which is about 48 miles an hour. You're going to have a range of about 750 miles. So wow. 48 miles an hour, yep. not knots, 48 miles an hour, 752 miles. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's, that is crazy. Crazy yeah. good just, range. Just thinking of motor yachts, right? Like any motor yacht we have filmed in the past, pretty much at cruising speed, the average range, I want to say, for a production motor yacht between 40 and 60 feet, I'd say is probably 300 nautical miles, maybe yeah. 350, 400 if you want to. I would say between yeah. three and yeah. 400. At the, cruising speed. Yeah, at, at cruising, at, speed. At cruising speed. like 22. Yeah, I mean, if you drop it down to displacement speed, yes, of course, you're going to get more out of the um, But not range. doing 38 miles an no, hour. No, no. 48. 48. 
48, 48 <laughs> miles an hour. Okay, so this is not just a fishing boat, it's also family oriented, right? Yeah, so that was the second aspect, which a lot of our customers that we have, one, they want to be able to fish when if they want to enter a tournament or just go out with their friends and go fishing. Mm -hmm. But the other aspect for us is really how do you cross over and bring the luxury side that we do on our yacht range of models, how do we incorporate that into yeah. a fishing boat? So what you're going to see on board here, we have a fishability nail. Um, and we believe that we've got the luxury side nailed too because you've got seating for 17, you've got a full-size queen berth, um, a wet head, full-size wet head down below, lithium battery, power bank, so you can operate silently at anchor. Um, so just really for those people that are trying to satisfy their fishing buddies when they go fishing, but then more importantly, trying to keep the rest of their family and friends happy on board, which is really our lane that we're trying to stick to. I mean, even just the two rows, you got four in the back, three in the forward well, row. Well, let's do a proper tour. I know, I know. We, I, we're getting ahead a little. I'm getting ahead a little. Uh, well, I'm sure you guys are dying to see this one, and we haven't gotten a full tour yet, so we're going to need you to show us around. Seems like no one's around right now, so... Nope. Are we comfortable just drifting a little? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. It's already so quiet anyway, so now I know. it's even yeah. quieter. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> nice. All right, should we start in a cockpit? Sure. We so just walked on board and just going ooh and eyeing, but didn't get to <laughs> see a lot. Ooh, ooh, ooh and uh, oh, it's nice and warm here in the sun too. Yes. Yeah, nice yeah. and warm. Let's do this part quickly, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, first of all, I think we should talk about this because, of course, it's unique to it being a multi-hall. Yeah. Yeah. So what you're going to see is we carried similar elements from our other model lineups and we've carried those into the 47. So on the 47 Molokai, what you're gonna see is we've got the concealed swim ladder. So, so cool. Oh, the big swim yeah. ladder. Yeah, the big swim ladder. So open this up, slide it out completely. And then it just drops down. And you just pull the pin and it oh. drops down. And then and you, it's a really nice ladder. Yeah. That is a proper swim ladder. You actually. close this and then you've got a real swim ladder. So whether you're fishing or if you're diving or spear fishing, she's set up for both. You also see in the gunnels, you've got two sideboard entry gates. So if you are fishing, you have the ability to pull your game fish in through the sideboarding gates as well as the transom. And they're really large. Yeah. Well, you need it for the big fish. For the big fish. For the Ex big exactly. Ones. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Easy that was. Yeah, that is really nice. I well, there comes the family no aspect then, right? Yeah. That's right. So yeah. if you're at the sandbar or you're just drifting like this and you decide to go swimming, it's easy to get in and out of the boat. And then you've got your gate here, which obviously closes if you are in big seas and you potentially could be taking waves over the bow, which would be a big wave for this boat, but you are able to evacuate the water quickly. We do have trench drains in the back, so everything direct overboard discharge. But if you need to vacate a lot of water, you can obviously open up the gate back here and yeah. vacate water very quickly. So you're gonna be okay in a hole over inlet? Yes, oh, for sure. <laughs> Have you like floating over it? <laughs> we haven't done that yet. I'm oh, dying to go through there. Oh my God. So. I just, I, people yeah. are constantly sending me videos like, do you know about it? Of course I know about it. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> All right, so, so what do we have here? But then on the aft of the boat, you've got two big 42 and a half gallon live wells pressurized. So tons of bait fish. This boat, the way that it's been set up, we just have a catch haul in here that you can oh, either use cool. for drinks or for rubbish or dock lines, whatever you want to throw nice. in there. Mm -hmm. So on your outboard, if you do get the platinum fishing package, they convert over to tuna tubes. Also in this boat, you have the in-deck live wells, which is an option with the fishing package also. And these are big 50 gallon. Live well tanks. Oh, they are big. Yes. Yep. With the light, with everything. Yeah. Right. And if you don't get the in deck live well tanks, this is just an additional locker. So you have, yeah. depending on what your boating needs are, either go for fishing or you can go for uh, storage. So Rico will storage. be representing the fishing machine aspect of this boat, and I will be representing the yachting aspect of this <laughs> That's boat. That's right. Okay. Not, no, disclaimer <laughs> not that I'm an expert. I still learn, and I would like to go. I haven't been fishing in well, years. I have no idea what fishing tubes are, and whatever this other tuna thing tubes. you guys. Do, no. <laughs> Tuna tubes. Tuna, tuna no, tubes. I, no idea what that is. Yeah. And I also have no idea what the other thing you guys just said in there. So. But for all of you guys who know what tuna tubes are, please put in the comments below and enlighten all the ones which are watching right now who don't know what they are. Okay, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> All right. Nice and hot in here. Yeah, it's, it's and then your aft side, we've got our mechanical lockers, our bilge lockers. 
And what you'll see is on the port side is really our plumbing. We control, Can I open that? Yeah, absolutely. That controls all of your plumbing lines to your live well tanks. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So you've really got, clean. Yeah, very, very clean, very nice laid out, finished. Everything's labeled, double hose clamp. So very, very well thought out. Tons of room in there to work. But you have your primary pump, then you have a secondary and a third backup. So depending on how you have your boat set up, you always have your primary pumps for your live wells as well as secondary and a third pump. And then on the starboard side, we've got this set up for more of your electrical. So much space. Um, and look, you can see So all we've got our through. battery connections in there and then also along the wall here, you'll see your fuel selector valve. So you mm -hmm. can actually switch tanks. You can have your engines run off both tanks. You can set up engines run off just your starboard or your port. You can set it up however you want to do it. So it's really nice to have in case you are having engine or fuel tank issues. So you can switch over. And it's also your storage for toys. Yeah, we ran offshore at an eight-person life raft in there, so yeah. it was nice being able to tuck it away. I was more thinking like a sea bob or something like this. <laughs> definitely put a sea bob in there. Who needs a life raft? A life raft is a toy. <laughs> no, but I mean, I get it. You don't have a tender yeah. really, so yeah, having a life raft. If you do like longer crossings, you're probably better off having a life raft on board. Yeah. yeah. And then, is there an option to shape this? Yeah, there is. It would be done as aftermarket edition, so at the but you could totally just pull poles up, super easily done. Yep. Yeah, exactly. that would be awesome, obviously, for Florida. Yeah. For LA, I don't think so, but for Florida, it would be nice to have. Yeah. All right, what do we got here? So, at the okay, I know these rod holders. That's right. Good job. <laughs> yeah, oh, rocket, not that bad. rocket lounges. <laughs> yeah, you've got eight across the top, another four across your supports running upright. And underneath your cushions here, you've got cooler space on both Whoa. sides. So, that's the same on the left. So, a nice little ice box. You've Super cool. Drop down cutting table oh, here. Oh, no way. And then in here, you've got. Uh, <laughs> Stop. We just have some Tackle. demo stuff in there, yeah, yeah, just to show it off, but obviously not what you'd be you fishing with. You rehearsed this. <laughs> you totally rehearsed this. You're I've been be going doing, through it. Yeah, you're going to be doing it flips. I can some, tell yeah. already. Something tells me this guy <laughs> was already fishing on this boat. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've this done is sick. <laughs> so cool. So it's nice setup if you're standing here. Obviously, you got your rods out, you're trolling, bottom fishing. Everything's nice and accessible. You can turn around. Plenty of room back here. You've got about 70 square feet just in this area alone. In the cockpit, yeah. yeah Big which cockpit. is class leading. Cameras never justify it. It's really beamy, but Lots set up very well. And then below here, we have additional seating. So we have jump seats. Oh, you got it on both sides. Of course you do. Yeah. Even if you take the family out to a sandbank, this is a nice spot. Yeah. You can have some foldable tables if you wanted to and have the meal in the back here. I mean, it's definitely large. Fabulous. Exactly. All exactly. Right. What about this? Check this out. You're talking about the speakers? No, oh, but okay. okay, go ahead, talk about the speakers. <laughs> I mean, that is one thing. Like, if I ever get really into fishing, I would have a playlist for every kind and type of fishing in every fishing situation. So I don't know <laughs> if you right. do that or not. I do, I have you a do? fishing playlist, yeah. <laughs> so, so for the right time, you need to have the right energy or music to actually go along with the fight or whatever that's it is. right but yeah anyway so i just noticed there are a lot of speakers on this vessel yeah lots so this is all premium fusion their latest stuff that's just come out so it's all been dts tuned so wherever you walk around on the boat sounds like surround sound yeah you have the two aft facing speakers so if you are at a sandbar then you can hear the music outside the boat and Very turn cool. the tunes up which is really nice and then where Victoria you're wondering how i'm doing this or what <laughs> I, I know how you're doing this because i Do have you? it here on this uh, side as well this is, is really, really cool convenient. how you guys integrated the steps actually get up on the hot top yeah so this boat's been designed it's a carbon fiber epoxy hard top so vacuum infused carbon epoxy so that saves weight and also adds strength and then you've got your composite support posts so all pre-run so if a client wanted to add a tower onto this boat it's you already could. yeah it's already structurally support is already in place to add a tower your underside of the hard top is a gray color that reduces the glare when you're fishing or captaining the boat so that's all track lighting underneath there oh, it so, is a light yeah so we oh, have cool. uh, led deck lighting oh. and then we've got track lighting around this there this must look so cool at oh, night time cool. what's really cool is you can change the color to any color you you've want you've got a photo of this i can pop in yeah. into the video yep there you guys go uh, check this out so if you're at night i'd play the star wars tune with you and oh, turn the lights all red stop. <laughs> love it okay so, so we we went through a couple of bridges and you were able to put this down it was so easy maybe you can demonstrate it sure that was sure. super cool yeah so these are gemlux 18 foot carbon fiber outriggers really nice good quality to lower it you simply turn these down and you can lower them if you've got a 
low clearance bridge that you've got to get under. Oh, that is really cool. Simple then, manual. Yeah. Nothing to and break. And then as far as popping them out, it's just flipping the knob and then twisting them outwards. Obviously, I'd have them up higher, but yeah, yeah. I'm just yeah. showing you guys. So how many lines in parallel can uh, you run? We can run three lines from this. Three from um, this? And then you've got, obviously, wow. your other positions on board the boat. You're going to be running about eight lines on average. Yeah, so, so I have to learn a lot more. I have to learn, period. I got invited by Elaine, though. He asked me if I <laughs> That's could go right. fishing with him. <laughs> no, we're definitely going to go fishing. Someone has to do uh, it. I see a YouTube channel and, coming out of and this. And big, Rico big, and Elaine big fishing. Shout out quick to the Coast Guard, which are just flying over here. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for being there for us all the time. Do you want to come in the shade? Do it's, I look like it's, I about, shade? it's about <laughs> it's 15 hot. degrees cooler here. <laughs> yeah. Come all over. Right. Well, come over to this row first. Look at these. Oh, it's so, yeah, so, this, so comfortable. So, this is an option to upgrade. It's all release marine, ladder back teak seating. The nice. other thing that's really unique is we've incorporated stadium seating. So your back row is about six inches higher than your front row. Ah, so if that's I'm, why. Yeah, if I can feel it, but I couldn't see it. I could just feel it. If I'm sitting, then you can kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. see over me I or still through see, me. Well, it's perfectly yep. positioned because it's in between anyway. Also, because yeah. it's three and yeah. four, so it makes 100% sense. Yep. Super right. nice. Love it. And, and it, not is just there that, air conditioning? It's air conditioning. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so that's yeah, why it's so much cooler in here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it. we've got a great air conditioning system on board, Maybrew air conditioning, running off the lithium battery bank, which is an option. All right, and we arrived back at the helm where we sort of started this cruise. What do we all need to know here? So we have two different electronics packages. This is a standard package, which you'll have two 24-inch screens. The alternative package is three 19-inch screens. So if you have a little bit of vision issues like me, I really <laughs> love the 24 inch. The older I'm getting, it I really appreciate crazy. the bigger screens. The brains of the boat is through the C-Zone system. Redundant to that, we have it integrated into the Raymarine systems, the MFD. And then in addition to that, we have our tactile controls. So no matter what, if something were to happen, you always have your tactile controls, you always have your emergency set up, you're able to get back to shore. Very well thought out when it comes to that aspect. That we bring down from our yacht line also. We've got deck lighting, LED courtesy lighting. We also have the track lighting that goes around. You can change its variable color. Whatever color you want to put it on, you can. There's an app. You can do it through this control, but there is an app that makes it actually much easier. To Rico's point, tons of speakers. So under the hard top, we've got four speakers. We've got subwoofers on the side, more speakers in the bow. Everything's DTS tuned, so it sounds Crazy. as both thumps. It's really, really a primo sound system on board. And so then, you've got chargers here. Yeah, wireless inductive this is chargers. Really, this is really beautiful. So wait, is this painted? I, I now varnish. don't know. It's, it is, it is actually varnish, real. Yeah. It's real yeah. wood. Correct. I don't know now. Everyone's yeah. doing this like plastic no, that's painted. Real, this is real. real. Wood. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, really they beautifully do. done. They do an exceptional job. And these primary seats, your first row slides four and a ah. half. So depending oh, how, quite a bit actually. Yeah, depending how big you are and if you're standing and you want to have back support you can and i like that you have a double tier in the front for your footrest yes which correct. is also really cool yep and then obviously the glove box we've got usb usc connections ray marine card and then we'll also have the ray marine quick connect and the c-zone quick connect that'll be oh, coming in there so this system is a hooker sea chest system so you've got your three pumps <laughs> pump one being your primary <laughs> two and three are easy oh, boys the logo what do you mean easy? <laughs> what do you mean i didn't create the logo <laughs> it's a great logo <laughs> it goes with the name <laughs> yeah. so yeah those are your primary pumps or your pumps for your all of your live well tanks and your tuna tubes so that's how you control their variable speed so depending how much water you want to push through them you can actually dial them up or dial so that's them down. interesting yeah like yeah. because normally like basic bait pumps are usually just on and off correct the old school ones at least yeah so this ones you can really actually dictate yeah the, you, you can know. really get that flow going feeding that we have a high speed pickup and then we also have a low speed pickup on the way yeah so depending on what speed you're doing it's going to pull in the water in various different are both ways. usually open at the same time yes, correct so you don't have to change anything. you don't have to change anything that is so. pretty impressive typically yeah. if you're not using them you'll shut them down you don't need the water coming in yeah, at that yeah. point yeah the rest of the you've got your tactile buttons windshield wiper windless control your fusion head unit and your vhf vhf yeah super uh, super clean cockpit and it's very, I mean. yeah it's nice and ergonomic so if you are driving the boat you're able to reach up and control everything yeah. on the sea zone you have whatever your bilge pumps like all the other functions you would have yeah 
Correct. So you don't need any kind of manual switches for that. No. Taking it back to the yadi aspect of this boat, can we talk about this glass inserts? I don't know. What do you guys call them? Yeah. Our view, side well, view, hole windows. We missed a couple of things here. Well, it was, yeah. Okay. You, you like to open up things. You so want me to back up? Yeah, just open okay. it up. <laughs> oh, more taco boxes. Yes. And look, they've got a cutting board. Look at that. Oh, that's Nicely cool. Nicely built in. Super cool. So now we have wash down fresh yeah. water on both sides. On your port side is going to be fresh water and on your starboard side is going to be raw water. Nice. Seawater. Love it. That's great. Trash can on both sides? Yep, both sides. Sweet. This is what I want to talk about. So first of all, we have it here. What do you call it? Hull side window. Hull side window. See, there's a word for it. Not glass insert. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Which that's pretty unusual on the center console, right? I Very mean, unusual. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you have three of them. Yes, correct. And we carry and that huge. down. So regardless of what Aquila you look at, whether it's our 28 or our 70, or everything in between, this carries through on all of our models. It's kind of how you can distinguish an Aquila wherever you are in the world. You know that that's an Aquila when you look at it. So. Until somebody steals this True. beautiful thing from you guys. But for now. True, for now. now you know it's an Aquila. Yeah. Love it. Sorry. So nicely built in where Rico is, the handrails also. Yes. Really nice to be able to hold on. There's spots everywhere. And all of these are storage? So this one accesses your fuel tank, and this is the same on port as well as starboard. So this is your fuel tank access. Forward to that, you've got a big storage locker in here for oh, a fish wow. box. And then forward to that, where Rico is, you got another really long one that's about 10 feet long. So you can fit your big pelagic fish in there. Plenty of room for fish and ice and storage if you're just cruising. Speaking of ice, is there an option for an ice maker? We do not currently have that as an option. We'll see what the market demands are and then yeah. adjust accordingly. So uh, if people ask for it, you will think right. of implementing it yeah. in? If there's enough demand for it, yeah. correct. Then we may consider it on the factory side, but for now, if somebody wanted to do that, both after certainly market. can do it. It would be done after market. Okay, this is why Elaine and I are friends, because he's not shy of opening anything. He's no. like, he's always <laughs> opening stuff without me even asking. This is people make fun of me. I know, I follow I the comments. Do, like. it. do it, because especially this is so important. This is actually one of the important aspects of this boat. Very having much. all this flexibility, yeah. storage, compartments, like all these opportunities. Yeah. You want to stay in the shade? We can do maybe the bow without you. Sure, go for yeah? it. Open up all the lights. Okay, well, I'll, I'll make Rico do it. But you can stay in the beautiful right. shade. We'll work, we'll uh, work hard. And you know what? What? How about I switch with Elaine and I stay no, in the shade? No, 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 I don't okay. think so. You're going to open stuff up. Go. Okay, what are we opening up? I this know, a, Anything you see maybe. Okay, I'll, I'll open this up. Preview. Sneak okay, peek. There we go. Oh, look at look that. Look at that door. So this is our access from the outside, from the deck to the head. And the rest we're going to see on the interior. It's all going to make sense to you guys once we're on the interior. Okay, let's Just close this back wait. up so it stays nice and cool inside. But it's a really fancy door. There we go. All right, Closed. let's go. Actually, no, I can open this. Go ahead. Hold this. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. This is really easy to open. <laughs> I Check see how I see how this out. goes here. Okay, so first of all, you guys are gonna see in the interior there are two openable hatches on top here, which is really cool. And these are skylights that we're also gonna see once we get in there. So let's talk about this. I like how they're shaped actually. It makes yeah, it very so, comfortable sitting here even on the way. Oh, right? Well now I'm not gonna get up. Okay. So I would do the same. I would shade this as well to have an option. I think that would be really nice. Oh, easily nice. done because you have the hot top. You put some poles, carbon fiber poles in there and Super you can put easy. a, a yeah. big bow shade actually. Cop holders built in everywhere actually. Yeah. So here, look, that's just overkill. I mean, would yeah. you really use all this? On both sides you have rod holders again. <sighs> okay, check this out. One. Oh, wow. Wait, wait, wait. That's not all. Two. Oh, look at this. And three. That is pretty amazing, especially with the grill in here. Mm -hmm. So if you have anything which needs to dry out, You're not going to have any mold issues here, no. which they really thought about it. It's pretty great. Also, right away, the cutouts for the buckets. That's pretty cool, if that's too. not enough, there is still two large compartments right here underneath these cushions. That I'm not going to do because it's really hot, you guys. <laughs> but trust me, they're very big here. And then... I'm going to put Rico to work. Real quick, please take a second, hit that like button, subscribe, share. Make sure you are subscribed. If you're not seeing our videos lately, 
just unsubscribe, resubscribe, hit the notification bell. It makes all the difference. You guys know we don't charge anything for our yacht tours. We really keep our independence. So liking and leaving comments is the biggest support you can show our channel. And of course you can join us on the Patreon if you wanna just do a little bit more. And Fort Lauderdale Boat Show is next weekend and we hope to see you all there. Look for us, join us on Instagram and see where we at at the show. We got our winners. <laughs> All right, the giveaway, the biggest giveaway ever. The winner has been selected and it's actually a couple. Yes. So we're really excited. Are you guys excited? We're flying them out. We're putting them up in the beachfront hotel. In uh, Fort Lauderdale. In Fort Lauderdale. Walking distance to the show. They're gonna get VIP tickets to go to the show. They're coming to our party. On Thursday. On Thursday night. They're, we're gonna take them on the private tour of Bearing 92. Yep. Which is about to arrive. Is it that arrived today? It arrived today. Ah, yeah. it arrived today? It arrived today. And, of course, uh, last minute yeah, like always. Everything's last minute. So anyway, we're really excited. Thank you to everyone for participating. We have decided that we're gonna make a huge effort to do this more often. Yep, we're, we're gonna, gonna have really cool giveaways coming up we have some in the future. Cool ideas because this worked out so well and you guys have been so excited about it. So make sure you're subscribed to not miss the next giveaway that's coming up. We are, well, we're gonna do it at least a few times a year, oh, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. We decided it's time. It's, we're in a good place to give back. We're in a good place to make you guys a year or month or quarter. So yes. Okay, shall we? We're torturing yeah. everyone. Um, is there anything else we need to say? No, just make sure. How about sure the new feature on Patreon? Oh yes, the Does Patreon. It fit in here? The Patreon has a new feature. So just in case you have not been on Patreon yet, there is now a chat function actually in the Patreon for our Patreons. We can chat back and forth. Freaking cool feature. <laughs> Since we started the Patreon, he's been asking, can we have like a chat? And we thought about doing like a Facebook group and it's yeah. just too complicated. And this, finally they launched this and it's awesome. It's yes. really cool. Allows us to have different chats, different levels. It feels different... like a real community. Yeah. Now. And uh... anyway, so are you guys still wanting to know who actually won? Yeah. Anyway, join us on the Patreon. If you're wanted to chat with us, welcome all new patrons that join us in the last week. Uh, we're excited to have you guys. A lot of cool stuff coming so, out. Okay. The so the winners of okay. this giveaway okay. I are... Say, I say my name, you say another one. Okay. Okay. It is... Hang on, hold for the plane. Hold for the plane. <laughs> Perfect timing too. Okay. okay. And go. Okay. The winner is... Grant. And... Elizabeth. From, from Alabama. 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 I'm ho we're hoping you guys have like really cool dialects because it'll be so fun. Yes. It's Rico's favorite thing ever. Really looking forward to meeting you guys. For everybody else who didn't win this time, we just said it already, we will do lots of more giveaways. Really, really cool thing. We have some great ideas. So, Grant and Elizabeth, congratulations. You guys are going to get an email with all the directions, all the stuff, uh, booking your flight, hotels booked already. So, last thing's left is your flight. And we will see you at Flips on Thursday. Woo! <laughs> Later. Okay, let's keep going. So we got the grab rail all the way around, continues on in the bow part. I don't want to step on this with shoes. These are boat shoes, deck shoes with white soles, just disclaimer. Okay, but, go ahead. Uh, anyways, let's open this up here. Here's our windlass. Here's our chain locker, chain and road locker. The windlass. So I know you're wondering like, okay, so how does this work? Yeah, because you decided to show it backwards. On the starboard side, well, you can see the chain, the windlass is mounted actually the wrong way. So the chain gets redirected over here to this side, to the center of the Such boat. Such a weird way of showing this, but okay. It gets redirected right here at this block and you get the anchor in the center of the weight where it's supposed to be. So they did this for weight distribution, having the weight on the starboard side because there's some other equipment on the port side. So this way the vessel is balanced properly. Moving over to the port side and open this up. We have a freshwater wash down here, and this is just a storage locker. It gets actually pretty deep in there. You see the tunnel here, how high up this actually is, which helps us to not have the belly slap on the multi hole when we have bigger wind waves. Why did you decide today the multi hole was the word of the day instead of a catamaran? It's a good question. You want me to say catamaran? You haven't said catamaran once. 
<laughs> you just somehow determined that it's multi-haul today. It is a multi-haul. If you guys are not believing that it's really hot outside looking at me, you can definitely tell it's warm looking. It is warm. <laughs> Okay, how about that beautifully air-conditioned interior? I well, feel like we, de we deserved it. Glad you asked. Let's I go check it out. I think we deserved it. Let's do it. So same here, matching to the other side, to our port side. And then look, all of these, there's windows in here and same thing. When you are in the interior, you're going to have this beautiful view because of this insert. Let's go check it out. Okay. Elaine? Yep. Do we have a permission to go in the interior? Yeah, absolutely. And cool off. Yes. Because it's nice air conditioning there. <laughs> okay, come on down. This oh, is yeah. definitely unique. Oh, close the door behind you. Oh my God, they see okay, so hey. nice. All right, let's talk about this. Obviously, this being a catamaran, the design had to be innovative in order to accommodate the tunnel that we have right here in the center. So they put the bed on top. It's a queen. Yeah, like a, a bold queen. A yeah, for a boat queen, like a full size on this side, and then it kind of gets bigger here. It's really hot, you guys, so of course it's closed now, but check this out. How much light! And openable hatches as well. Look at that! Yeah, very nice. This is amazing! It's actually really cozy. When you're laying in this bed, the view you have is perfect. The windows are perfectly leveled, and then you see out because of the inserts that they have there, so it's pretty spectacular and nicely tinted so it keeps it nice and cool in here so we have some storage there some drawers right there when you walked in there's some uh, this some access stuff. to the back of the helm mm -hmm. where all the electronics are in and a little bit of storage for like safety equipment for example yeah we have a tv forward air condition speakers overhead right here and then can you open this blind over there too yeah there we go check this out all right, so you guys saw this from the exterior. We have our entrance. If we would like to use the space as our day head, when we're just day cruising, no one's staying in here, or someone's staying in here would like to have some privacy, you can just close this up. You get the idea. And then we have this space here. Basically a wall. Look, there's clips here. So it's a wet head, but it's a good size shower right here. We have our head, we have a little sink, a mirror, a little bit of storage here, actually a good amount really nice ac everywhere it feels fantastic they made sure to kind of give us look toilet paper all nicely protected oh there's even a window here love this check this out oh, wow. really nice and bright in here absolutely love it yeah so easy to use this part and of course a really cozy nice cabin did i mention that there is a wireless charging pad here as well no you didn't yes there is what is here let's look at this Oh, really nice. Wow, lots of space. More than Very I expected. Cool. Yeah, and I think we should take her out and, I mean, we are out, but I think we should take her out for a real spin. Okay. Now that we're out here. One thing I think we didn't mention was that there is a version of this vessel with an outdoor galley, actually. That's coming on the hole number two. Hole number two, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, which I think would be super, super cool to have. I think that would be my choice to be able to go out and maybe spend the night or two nights on the boat. And then like, you could easily do that. Yeah. You can make a meal. Make you your breakfast, you know, up. go yeah. out for lunch or dinner or something. It would be perfect boat for it. I agree. Well, we know that Aquila has a lot of different options on the, all their boats. And they're very smart about adjusting to the market. So I feel like when they put the models out, they really see like what are people asking for, what they want, and then they adjust in that direction because their models are always evolving. All right, let's, Shall uh, we let's go for a cruise? Take her for a spin. Let's do it. So what I wanted to feel is the speed that we can do this pretty impressive range. Yep. Which is like, what, 48? 48 miles an hour cruise speed with the Mercury V10 400. Can we see and feel what it <laughs> yeah. feels like? Yep. So this boat's got the 450Rs, but when you pair it with the quad V10 400s, it's very similar in terms of speed and range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Cool. All right, let's uh, do it. All right, ready? Let's do it. Everyone, Matt's holding on. Yeah. That's right. Now we know why they're so big. Oh, like nothing. There we go, 49. Wow. That was fast. Let's put that in perspective. Like almost 800 nautical miles is what? Like in Florida, 
at terms. That yeah. like, okay, going from west coast of Florida to east coast of Florida. Easy, yeah, you could theoretically go with a 750 mile range from Tampa around to the Bahamas and back and still have On one tank. On one tank, yeah. That's range. Yeah. You can do some serious fishing with that. Yes. So this is typical of what your cruise speed is going to be regardless of engine package. It's going to be anywhere from 45 up to about 55. This is uh, so comfortable. What's wow. some big fish jumping actually. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go get in the lane. So with that speed you're in less than an hour from southern Florida to Bimini. Yes, correct. Yeah, you can do it in an hour. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Uh, but she'll get up there. We've been pushing this boat just north of 70 miles an hour, so she'll get up and go. Uh, and it's wow. super comfortable. So yeah. comfortable. I mean, I don't even have to hold on. It's so comfortable. Yeah. It's like on tracks. builds up a cushion underneath and then when you're at trolling speeds when you're fishing you still have a big wide open tunnel yeah so yep. you're not getting the hull slap we want to keep it open as much as possible the boat feels very rigid she is yeah very stiff so a lot of that you'll feel from your primary bulkheads being carbon fiber yep. Yep. Oh, okay there yep. you go thanks for watching this video and uh, you know the typical things please like subscribe add a comment any questions you have Put it in the comments below. Thank aye, you, Naughty Scouts. Thank you, Rico. <laughs> Thank you, Victoria. <laughs> Thanks, Elaine. Awesome you. you know how this works. <laughs> Very nice. Nice. Bye. 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 Say it one more time. That part without yep, spitting. Because was yeah. I spitting? It wasn't visual. It wasn't really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's do it without the spitting. <laughs>